This is Monkey Chaitanya Kumar and welcome back to our YouTube channel Eternal Learning. Hope you are doing fine and fantastic. In this video, I brought you information related to jobs in core electronics and uh, what are the skills you required, uh, what are the preparations to be done, uh, different types of core fields and also about the public and private sector companies. So, uh, let's start uh, this video uh, with the skills required and the steps to be followed the first and most important thing is that and we all know that uh, to uh, get the jobs into core sector is the most desired one in today's placement scenario and one in 50 or 100 students get in and the remaining just fall back and shoot into the mass recruiter okay to get job in ec core companies the person should be well versed with the fundamentals of electronics okay for that you need to study your at least last couple of years well to have the basic knowledge of each subject so you need to cover the basics of important subjects such as uh, electrical circuits electronic circuits digital systems so various signal processing topics uh, communication in thorough uh, above all uh, you need to be uh, good in communication skills or else you could lose your job due to this uh, you need to acquire personality development skills interpersonal and aptitude uh, skills okay that's all about the skills and uh, if you uh, let's talk about uh, the most uh, like you know important thing like a different types of code fields we have into this the first thing is private sector, right? Uh, in India, the private sector opportunity is huge. Many of the MNCs mostly take students from campus interviews. Okay, I'll be sharing the list of companies uh, in the private sector in the description box. You can go through that. Okay, uh, and also if you talk about the public sector, the public sector has more opportunities for EC than CSIT, but you have to face a tough competitive examinations to get in. But uh, to make it very easier, you can divide this in three parts. The first thing is PSU, that's a public sector units. Uh, these are public sector companies that either take applications based on gate score and interview or hold their own exams and interview. So you need to go through that. Uh, and if you talk about also, I have shared uh, the public sector units companies in the description. You can go from there. Okay, to talk about the IES, yes, Indian engineering services are considered the most prestigious job profile for engineers in India, equal to what IAS are in administration or EPS in police. The selection is through engineering service examinations, which is among the most competitive exams in India. Okay, a Google search on ESC would uh, give you all details on the examinations, such as exam pattern syllabus, and you can go through that. Okay, now let's, now the next is research institutions, like we have a major public research institution under three wings of government of India, like we have a department of space a department of defense and department of atomic energy to name a few if you talk about department of space we have isro the highly efficient space agency in india and the main many institutions under its umbrella the recruitment is through isro icrb annual recruitment examination followed by interview and if you talk about drdo the defense development agency of india similar recruitment like isro just you can go through or you can google it uh, now comes the BARC, that is Bach, uh, Baba Atomic Research Center. The, actually, in this also the GATE scorecard followed by interview, but uh, it is advisable to start preparing for this examinations right from a uh, second or third year uh, regarding the courses. It is always beneficial to learn a bit more practical stuff and make projects, especially for private sector. You know, these are the most important things that you can uh, get into. And uh, this is very, 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 you know, uh, compared to... Uh, the private sector if you once you get into the public sector your life becomes very easy and also you get an opportunity to learn a lot of things in this okay if this is the first time you're watching this channel so please do subscribe like and share this channel with your friends and family because i'll be making a lot of videos on this and if you even if you want me to make a videos on a particular subject just uh, comment below so that i would love to make the videos on those subject okay just you can go through the description for the companies and all these things also uh, just follow the further slides to have information about the different companies and the sectors they belongs to thank you very much we'll meet up in the next video till then goodbye thank you take care